So what are our options and what do we think when we think about lubricants and moisturizers, tips and tricks? What are your thoughts? Would you like to go? Uh, sure, I can give my, uh, my two cents here. So a lubricant is not intended to stick around in those tissues. Um, so it's used for a specific purpose. It's used for, you know, uh, insertion of uh, in, in intercourse, you know, fingers, toys, penis, et cetera, or for inserting a device or something like that. But they, that, that um, lubricant is not really intended to stick around versus a moisturizer is something that's intended to stay in that tissue, kind of keep um, drawing water or keeping water in the area. Um, yes, lubricants are for love, making moisturizers are for maintenance. Right, right. So ideally with a moisturizer, you would want something that would stick around and keep those tissues feeling more supple for 24, 48 hours. Um, so there's gonna be different ingredients there. Um, and also, generally speaking, when it comes to lubricants or it comes to moisturizers, um, we look at few uh, simple ingredients. Generally, in my experience, is better, which unfortunately is not always what you're going to find over the counter at the drugstore, more often than not. But um, so things like slippery stuff is a really nice few ingredient um, water based lubricant, for example. Um, just to prevent extra perfumes or, you know, we want to avoid things that might potentially irritate tissue, which is already irritated. And I'd just like to clarify what Teasley said, that lubricants are typically used at the time that they're needed for whatever activity you're doing, whereas moisturizers, as she said, are for maintenance. So they're typically used, uh, usually for most people, on a three times a week schedule. So you, you want to keep that maintenance, as she said. Uh, and I completely agree, as a, a quick rule of thumb, without mentioning name brands, the best selling, most popular name brands of lubricants that are available in your grocery store, your discount store, your drug store, are not the friendliest to your vaginal tissues. And some of them actually can further damage your vaginal tissues. So don't skimp on your lubricant go luxury if you can and usually these are going to be things that you buy from a specialty retailer um, i'm a huge fan of good clean love um, most of your silicone lubricants are are very similar um, and we didn't really touch on that but there are basically two types of lubricant there's a water-based which is either based on water or aloe products or there's a silicone lubricant. And for women who are menopausal, you're actually probably going to get better results from using a silicone lubricant. But if you're working with Teasley or you're doing dilator therapy, or if sex toys are part of your repertoire, silicone lubes do not mix with silicone products. It will melt your expensive products. So yes. this, this is a time when you either want to use the water-based lube or put a condom on your dilator to protect it. Condoms aren't just for protecting your partner. <laughs> Very good point. Yes, there is a whole line of uh, dilators that have silicone uh, coatings, which is meant to be very, you know, body friendly. It feels a little nicer on this, the tissues. They're in colors, so they 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 look kind of cool. Um, but but yes, just as Tammy said, we, you want to be careful that you're not mixing silicone lubricant with silicone toys. Mm -hmm. And you may have to experiment before you find the lubricant that gives you the best results for whatever activities you're doing and what you're looking for. Your comments.